Hola, amigos. Before we start today's show, we want to give a quick shout out to a few members of our Patreon familia. That's right. We want to send out a big hola to Nolan, his mama Elizabeth, his papa Eric, and his brand new hermano Aiden. Nolan, we think it's so wonderful that you're now a big brother, or in Spanish, un hermano mayor. Maybe someday you all will get to listen to Eat Your Spanish together. And when he learns to speak, you can help teach him the songs. And then you can listen to Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouth together. And maybe someday you'll even be able to have an entire conversation completely in Espanol or in Spanish. That would be so amazing. But for now, we're just so happy to know that you're there with him, giving him lots of cuddles and sharing lots of love with him. Love is the most important thing in the world. And we know that there's lots of love in your heart or your corazón. Thanks, amigos, for being such wonderful listeners and supporters of our show. We also want to say hola to our amigo Alia, her mama Irene, and her papa Frank. Alia, I heard that this month is your sixth birthday. Feliz cumpleaños, Alia. Yeah, feliz cumpleaños. We hope that you have so much fun on your birthday and that all of your birthday wishes come true. We're also so happy to hear that you want to be a musician when you grow up. We hope that our music helps inspire you to write beautiful canciones of your own someday. Someone told me a long time ago that when you write a song, you should write about something that you really care about. So maybe your first song could be about your dos perros or your two dogs. We would love to hear that song. Muchas gracias for all of your love and support, and we hope that you have a feliz cumpleaños. And thanks again to everyone in our Patreon familia. Your support directly funds our work on the show, and we honestly couldn't do it without you all. For anyone who would like to join and help keep our program going, you can find our Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish, or click the link in the podcast description. Now on with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. A estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu. Es Spanish to be. Everybody say. No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your Spanish with us today. Eat your Spanish! With Evan and Vanessa. Hola, amigos. Me llamo Evan. Y me llamo Vanessa. Welcome to the review episode for Lesson 3 of Season 3, or Lesson 3 of Season 3, which was all about insectos, or insects. Today we're going to review the Spanish names of the cuatro insectos that we learned last episode, and then we're going to play a fun game together. Then at the very end of the episode, we'll give one special listener the chance to ask us a question about how to say a word or phrase in Espanol or in Spanish. But first, it's time for a little review of our words from last week. Listo, amigos? Are you ready, friends? Here we go! Spanish review time! All right, now it's time to take a look back at our lesson from last week. Evan, rewind the tape. So, Vanessa, how do we say butterfly, ladybug, caterpillar, and bee in Spanish? Great question, Evan. To say the butterfly in Spanish, we say la mariposa. To say the ladybug, we say la mariquita. To say the caterpillar, we say la oruga. And to say the bee, we say la abeja. So let's start first today with the words for the butterfly, which are la mariposa. So repeat after me, nice and loud. La mariposa. La mariposa. La mariposa. 
la mariposa. Nice work, amigos. Now on to the words for the ladybug, which are la mariquita. So repeat after me. La mariquita. La mariquita. La mariquita. La mariquita. Muy bien. Dos down, dos more to go. To say the words for the caterpillar in Spanish, we say la oruga. So repeat after me. La oruga. La oruga. La oruga. La oruga. Excelente! And last but not least, we've got the words for the bee, which in Spanish are la abeja. So here we go, amigos. Repeat after me. La abeja. La abeja. La abeja. La abeja. Great review, amigos. Now it's time to play a Spanish game together. We hope you all are ready to have some fun. Spanish game time! Okay, amigos. In today's Spanish game, I'm going to describe the different features of an insect using some Spanish words that we've learned in previous episodes, such as colores or colors, and parts of el cuerpo or the body. This might be a good time to mention that if you haven't already, we highly recommend starting Eat Your Spanish back at Lesson Uno of Season Uno. So that way, you'll already have a solid foundation of Espanol by the time you make it back here to Season Tres. That's a good point, Vanessa. Now back to the game. Once Vanessa describes a certain insecto, you'll hear the classic tick-tock of the timer, the ding of the bell, and it'll be time to say your guess out loud. Are you all ready for round uno? Okay, amigos, here I go. The insecto that I'm thinking about is round like a circle. It has a shell that is the color rojo and spots that are the color negro. And it keeps its alas, or its wings, inside of its shell until it's ready to fly. Which insecto am I thinking about? Una mariposa, una mariquita, una oruga, or una abeja. Time's up, amigos. What's your guess? If you said una mariquita or a ladybug, you got it. Muy bien. Yeah, way to go, amigos. And when I said the colores rojo y negro, I was saying the colors red and black. I thought those were the colors you said. This game is really neat because it uses things that I learned earlier on from Eat Your Spanish and combines them with the words I'm learning now. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I'm glad you're having fun, Evan. Now it's time for round dos. The insecto that I'm thinking about is usually the colores amarillo y negro. And you might also find this insecto buzzing around your flores. Am I thinking about una mariposa? Una mariquita, una oruga, or una abeja. Time's up, amigos. What's your guess? If you said una abeja or a bee, you got it. Muy bien. Yeah, muy bien, amigos. You all are doing great. And when I said the colores amarillo y negro, I was talking about the colors yellow and black. And of course, the word flores that I said means... Flowers! That's right! Nice one, Evan! Okay, amigos, it's time for round tres. Are you ready? The insecto that I'm thinking about now is the only insecto in our group of four insectos that does not have alas or wings. Instead of flying, it walks along different plantas, munches on their hojas or their leaves... <coughs> And eventually, it makes a cocoon or a chrysalis around itself where it will turn into either a moth or a mariposa. Am I thinking about una mariposa, una mariquita, una oruga, 
or una abeja. Time's up, amigos. What's your guess? If you said una oruga or a caterpillar, you got it. Nice work, amigos. Yeah, way to go. We've just got one more insecto left, and I'm really excited to share this one. The insecto that I'm thinking about right now is one of my favoritos. It's one of my favorites. It has very colorful alas or wings, and it can be all sorts of colores, like rojo, anaranjado, amarillo, verde, azul, morado, blanco, or negro. And at one point in its life, when it was younger, it used to be una oruga. Am I thinking about una mariposa, una mariquita, una oruga, or una abeja? Time's up, amigos. What's your guess? If you said una mariposa or a butterfly, you got it. Way to go. Yeah, great guess, amigos. You all did such an amazing job with this Spanish game. I'm really so proud of all of you. Aw, oh, me too. And now that we're getting towards the end of the episode, it's time to give one of our special listeners the chance to ask a question about how to say a word or phrase in Espanol. Vanessa, who is this week's special listener? Today we've got two special listeners. They are Hermana y Hermano. Their names are... Lina and Ryland. Lina and Ryland, what are your questions? Hola, my name is Lina. I'm and I'm five. I'm and I live in Grass Valley, California. I'm I want to know how you say water bottle in Spanish. Gracias. Bye. Hola, Lina and Ryland, and thanks for your amazing questions. For those of you who may have had some trouble hearing the questions, Lina asked how to say water bottle, and Ryland asked how to say earth giant. I've definitely heard of a water bottle before, but I'm not sure if I've ever heard of an earth giant. Vanessa, I actually just asked one of my ukulele students, and they told me what it is. An earth giant is from the movie Frozen 2, and it's a mountain-sized rock spirit from the enchanted forest. Oh, cool! That would have been a cool creature to cover in our Mythical Creatures episode. Maybe we'll have to do another one someday. But for now, let's learn how to say those words in Spanish. To say water bottle in Spanish, we say botella de agua. Can you repeat after me? Botella de agua. Botella de agua. Botella de agua. Botella de agua. Muy bien, amigos. And now, to say Earth Giant in Spanish, we would say Gigante de la Tierra, which translates to Giant of the Earth or Earth Giant. So repeat after me, Gigante de la Tierra. Gigante de la Tierra. Gigante de la Tierra. Gigante de la Tierra. Excelente, amigos! Knowing how to say botella de agua is super useful because we have to drink so much agua every day. So if you're ever out on the go, it's always a great idea to bring una botella de agua with you. They even make really neat ones that you can put stickers on and decorate. Yeah, and then if your amigo El Gigante de la Tierra is thirsty, you can bring una botella de agua for them as well. Although I imagine when they get thirsty, they probably just drink out of El Rio or the river. Or maybe they drink from El Oceano. Hey, amigos! Next time any of you sees a gigante de la tierra, will you please ask them how they drink agua? <laughs> and then if you find out, you can send us an email. We'd love to know. <laughs> but in the meantime, muchas gracias, Lina and Ryland, for your wonderful questions. Yeah, muchas gracias, amigos! 
If any of you listeners out there ever want us to answer one of your questions, just visit us on eatyourspanishpodcast.com and you can send us in your question. And if you record your question on one of your parents' phones and send it to us, then you can have the chance of hearing your own voice on one of our podcasts. Well, amigos, that sound means it's time for us to say goodbye. Thanks for joining us today for this special review episode of Eat Your Spanish. We hope you all have una buena semana or a wonderful week. And we'll see you soon with another fun episode. Time to sing the goodbye song. We hope you all will sing along with us. amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on iTunes. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.